بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم والعن عداء السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين وال I'm standing in the middle of one of the purest place on earth the place between the shrine of Imam Al-Hussein and the shrine of Abu al Abbas so called Bain al Haramain. I've received a question from one of you asking about the Christian that washed the head of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam while Umayyad and the soldiers uh, were taking the heads from Kufa to Sham. Who was that priest actually? And what happened on that occasion? And what is the effect of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam on Christians? And how his revolution affect Christians and those who are non-Muslims? Actually, when a Christian, a priest, saw the head of Imam al Hussein and saw how light is actually shining from that head. He went to those soldiers and told them, I'm willing to give you and pay you a big amount of money if you accept to leave this head with me just for tonight. And they accepted and he paid them 10,000 dirhams or dinars, which is a lot. And he took that head and washed it and started to talk to that head by asking it, please talk to me and tell me who are you? I can see the light of prophets in your face. I can see the light of God in your face. And the head of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam started to talk that I am Hussein, son of Fatima, son of Ali ibn Abi Talib, and Fatima is the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And that priest asked the head of Imam al-Hussein, please, I want to ask you for your intercession in the day of judgment. And Imam al-Hussein replied that I accept if you enter Islam and he entered Islam and he accepted Islam and something like that happened for a Jewish guy as well and when we go to Sham we see the ambassador actually the ambassador of Roma Empire When he saw the head of Imam al Hussein and how Yazid is is actually celebrating the the victory on that head, he asked Yazid, "Can you tell me and introduce this head to me?" Yazid told him, "What do you want to do with that? Just don't ask about it." And he said, no, I'd like to take the news to my king so he can share the happiness with you. And then Yazid said, this is the head of Hussein. The ambassador asked, son of whom? He said, son of Ali. Who is his mother? He replied, Fatima. Daughter of whom? He replied, daughter of Muhammad, our prophet. He said, Woe on you, O Yazid. You killed the grandson of your prophet? What is your religion? I cannot 
believe that how ridiculous you are and Yazid got angry and he said then I will kill you he said okay you know I saw the Prophet your Prophet Muhammad last night on my dream and he told me you will be resurrected with us on the day of judgment and I was so surprised I'm not Muslim how can I be resurrected with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu while well, I'm not believing even in his religion and now I know what I saw then he grabbed the head he hugged the head and Yazid ordered his soldiers to kill that Christian man the ambassador of Roman Empire while he was hugging and grabbing the head of Imam al-Hussein may Allah's peace descend on Imam al Hussein and on all of his companions and all of people who died in his way. So we can see the affection of Imam al Hussein's revolution upon Christians, upon Jewish, upon non Muslims, whoever has got faith in his heart and hears and listens to the story and history of Imam al Hussein. He will believe in Hussein. He will accept Hussein as a successor of. Almighty God. He will show faith in Imam Al Hussein Salamullah Alayhi. Salallahu alayka Aba Abdullah. Salallahu alayka ibn Rasulullah wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.